Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at the Hollywood Racks Destination 2 bike rack right here on our 2020 Ford Edge. So this bike rack is probably one of the lightest bike racks you have here at eTrailer. If you're looking for something that's really lightweight, really portable, and can carry a decent amount of bikes or a decent variety of bikes, this might be the option for you. It stores so small that you can even store it inside your trunk when you're not using it. So we'll take a look at this bike rack just to see if it's the right fit for your bicycles as well as your Ford Edge. First off is that this cannot tilt away. If you want access to your hatch, you will have to take your bikes off first, which is something worth considering. We do have other bike racks that can tilt away with the bike on. That might be more preferable. Another light bike rack could be, let's say the Kuat Sherpa that can tilt away if you want access to your hatch. Okay, now let's talk about the way this holds on to our bikes. So we have a 35 pound weight capacity here for our Hollywood Racks destination. If you have heavier bikes, not gonna be a, the best fit for you. But here we have our lighter, pretty normal weight bike. And then you can see how it's held down by three points. We have two wheel straps as well as a frame mount. So that frame mount is pretty interesting because we have a 360 degree rotation for our frame mount. So depending on your bike's frame, you can move this up, down, left, right, as well as rotate it just to accommodate those different frame shapes. But when you wanna take your bike off, you start at the wheel straps. So you just press this lever and then notice how we have that rubber strip sitting on top of our wheel. That's just to prevent scuffs and scratches. We'll take this strap out and then I like to kind of just move this over to the side so it doesn't get tangled up in your spokes when you take the whole bike off. So do the same thing for the second wheel strap. Take the strap out and then move that over to your side. And then, and this is the important part, try to support your bike for um, as much as you can because once you release that frame mount, it could possibly tilt towards your forward edge if you're not careful. So with that released, we're just gonna move that frame mount a little bit to the side, there we go. Now you can lift your bike up and notice how you only need to clear that small mass in order to remove your bike. So I'm just gonna leave the bike over to the side so that we can take a closer look at the bike rack itself. So my biggest recommendation is to make sure that your straps are stowed away especially as you drive around, that way they're not flopping around and they last a little bit longer. This can accommodate a maximum wheelbase of 48 inches. Notice how our cradles are angled downwards just to fit that kind of wheelbase. We also have these straps. So we talked about how they go over your wheels and then they secure them to the bike rack. This does have a weight capacity of 35 pounds, which I mentioned earlier, and the maximum tire width this can accommodate is up to three inches. So you can see that with those specs, they're pretty much for kind of your middle of the road bikes. Nothing too crazy when it comes to bike frame design. Now let's talk about how this fits on our Ford Edge. Whenever you have any hitch accessory, there is gonna be some length added to the back of your vehicle. So we're gonna take some measurements to see exactly how much. Measuring from our bumper to our reflectors at this end, it sits at 23 inches added to our forehead edge. Very compact compared to other two bike platform racks. If you have a really small garage, this might be a good option for you if you want to keep your bike rack on in the down position. But whenever you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a tight spot, don't forget you have bicycles as well as a bike rack behind you. Let's take another measurement and that's going to be ground clearance. So ground clearance sits at the center of the bike rack to the ground, 20 and a quarter inches. At the bottom of the wings to the ground, it sits at around 15 and three quarter inches. Now let's compare it to our shrink measurement. So that sits at 10 and three quarter inches. So ground clearance is important for your Ford Edge, mainly because the hitch kind of sits lower compared to other vehicles, which are usually taller. So whenever you do have anything attached to your hitch, you'll want to make sure 
you have that shank rise because as you go up those steep inclines like your driveways or your hills, you'll want to make sure that your bikes have enough clearance and they don't hit the ground. This has an okay clearance when it comes to ground clearance. If you do have your longer wheelbases though, where it maxes out at 48, you're gonna have to take a look at that measurement over here at the end of the wings. Okay, now, if you want to make this a bit more compact or if you wanna store your bike rack, what you can do is you can bring this mass down and fold it up. But first, I wanna take a look at this clearance right over here. With our bikes off, notice how we now have clearance between our door and our hatch. This is when we can get into our trunk and grab whatever we need. So when you need to get your helmets, your bags, your waters, you will have to take your bike off, but you don't have to bring this mask down, which will save you a little bit of time. But I'll show you how to bring that mask down. So here we have a knob as well as kind of an anchor on the side. So you're gonna wanna loosen that knob right there, just enough where you can lift this out of the way and then tighten that back down so that it doesn't take up too much space. And from there, you can now fold your mask down. One thing about that is you may have to just kind of figure out the best fit for you. I like to use the straps on the bike rack itself just to secure it. To so use these wheel straps over here. There we go. You could also use the straps on the frame mounts. It's really whatever is the best fit for you and how much you want it to move kind of thing. But with these all now secure, that goes down there, and that goes there, we can now fold this up. So to fold it up, you have a bolt as well as a clip. You're gonna wanna pull that clip and then rotate this bolt so that it releases from the bike rack. So with that out, you can now just let that drop since it has a string holding it up. Then this folds up. Pop that bolt back in. I do like how it uses a bolt instead of a pin and clip that other bike racks tend to use. I think it just creates like a better fit and it tightens down the bike rack a little bit more in the stowed or the compact position. But once you have that bolt fully threaded, don't forget to use your clip that you just took out earlier. That pops right in there, just helps me get a little bit more secure. Okay, we'll take some measurements now. First, I'm gonna take a measurement at the closest point between our car and our bike rack. So from the bumper to the mast right over here, it sits at about four inches of clearance between the two. That's actually a lot of clearance. It does help that that's as much as it moves, so it doesn't get any closer than that. Length now added to the back of our forward edge is gonna be from the bumper to this point of our bike rack is actually gonna sit the furthest away and that sits at around 10 and a half inches away from our forward edge. Big difference compared to when this platform was in the down position. You'll definitely want it in this position when you're just planning on riding around town and you're not planning on taking your bikes out anytime soon. Also notice how small this is. In this position, you can easily store it in your garage or even inside your forward edge. With it folded up, notice how our rear window is completely visible, our tail lights are completely visible, our backup camera is visible, and our license plate. Awesome because as you drive around, you'll wanna make sure that you can still see behind you and this isn't in the way. So that's good to see. Now let's talk about how this fits into our hitch. So the Ford Edge could possibly have a class two inch and a quarter hitch receiver, or it might have a two inch hitch receiver, which is what I have here. Whichever of those you have, this bike rack is gonna fit because it has an inch and a quarter shank with a two inch adapter. What's holding it tight to your hitch receiver is this anti-rattle bolt. Now you do get a tool to tighten it down, but I recommend doing what I do is that I pick up a socket wrench and that uses a three quarter socket, makes it so much easier to secure the bike rack. At the end of that bolt, is this lock too though. So you can use this lock as well with the Hollywood Racks cable lock that we can secure both your bikes and your bike rack with just one key. Very, very helpful to get that as a set. But anyways, 
with that three quarter inch anti rattle bolt tightened down, let's do a little demonstration just to show how that works with your hitch receiver. So I'm gonna shake our bike rack side to side and notice how I'm really just shaking the car at this point. Some people are worried about a two inch hitch adapter, but as you can see, it still holds the bike rack in and there's no movement really between the bike rack and your hitch receiver, making for a smoother ride for your bikes overall. So my personal thoughts about this bike rack is that if you want something super lightweight, super easy to stow, super easy to keep in your garage or in your vehicle, this might be a good option for you. But if you have heavier bikes, if you have electric bikes, if you have, let's say, carbon frame bikes, this might not be a good option for you just because it doesn't have the capability to carry those more variety of bikes. So all in all, if you just want something easy to throw on and you don't have crazy frames or super long wheelbases or super heavy bikes, this might be a good option for you. But this was a look at the Hollywood Racks Destination 2 bike rack right here on our 2020 Ford Edge.